welcome to this new video for my channel, The Mental Traveler. I'm Carrera and today I'm not gonna be posting one of my usual reviews. I wanna share with you all some amazing things that happened to me this year. And as the title of this video hints at, I am a Mexican booktuber and I just spent almost half a year in Canada. And I wanna tell you all of my adventures with books, movies, TV series, writers, publishers and editors, hoping that some of you will find this material useful. I graduated the summer of 2016 from college. I have a bachelor's degree in journalism and I was working at this radio station as a host for two shows and while I was really happy at my job and it gave me some pretty cool opportunities like for example asking George R. R. Martin, the author of Game of Thrones, about my favorite characters in his works, I thought that it was the right moment for me to just give it all up for I have that many responsibilities and just move abroad and study and learn and enjoy life. The classes I wanted to take were subjects that have interested me since I was a little girl. So I moved to Toronto to study at George Brown College a course called Film Studies and a course called How to Start Writing Your Novel 1. And because a lot of the stuff that I learned in these classes were about books, movies, TV shows, writing, I'm gonna divide them into sections and go into a lot of details about them all. So I've been wanting to write my books since I was 12 years old. I've had these two very different family sagas in my mind since then, but I just can't seem to actually sit down and write them, even though I know everything that goes on in them in my mind. So I took this class and it was really cool. We were around 15 students and we had two submissions for the class to read and critique along the way. And while it was daunting at first to share my original works with others, because even though I do write fan fiction, that's different than writing original stuff and sharing it with others rather than sharing it with an audience of characters you all like. But this class was really useful because of all the feedback that people gave me, directing me on the right course and pointing out things that I hadn't realized before about me and my writing and my chapters. My novel writing skills were sharpened and I learned tons and tons and tons. For example, the long road to writing a book and then to publishing it. I also learned how the publishing world in Toronto is like. I got to go to meetings with editors and agents. I learned it's really important to mingle in the writing community, which is pretty active and big. Other stuff that I learned is that Canadians are really proud of their national authors. I got the impression that everyone had read R. Margaret Atwood and Alice Munro and Mordecai Rickler, to name a few, but not just like, oh yeah, I'm aware of that book, or oh, I read it in high school, whatever, but actually read and enjoyed their books. And finally, at the end of last year, in December, I started watching for the first time ever a TV show called Fargo. It's amazing, I've already reviewed it. The first season is my favorite. And to my pleasant surprise, in my writing novel class, one of the actors from that show ended up being my classmate. I found out and I totally freaked out. He's a really nice guy. He shows a lot of promising talent in the writing field, not only in acting. His name is Carlos Diaz. He plays the younger version of Oliver Platt's character in Fargo. The first season he appears as Tabros Milos. I am a history lover and a movie geek and this class was a sort of a really amazing history lesson on cinema. I already had one similar back at college here in Mexico but honestly I don't know if the teacher here didn't have the same tastes as me in movies or whatever but one in Canada was way way better. Every week we delved into a different period in time and how movies developed since the 1800s. We learned about technical aspects, acting methods, directors, how social and political environments affect movies and every Every week we saw a different movie, most of them I'd never heard of before and yet I enjoyed every one of them but one, the last one. And I was so lucky to have a professor that knew so much and, and he shared so much of his knowledge with us. We studied Hollywood's classical era, film noir, German expressionism, the Italian new wave, realist films, the beauty of trash movies, among other things. And some of the films that we watched that have stayed with me the most were Sunrise, A Song of Two Humans, Stagecoach, Umberto D, Asphalt Jungle, All or Nothing, Less, among others. The one that stayed with me the most though was the one that we saw in our Canadian film history class and that movie is Apprenticeship of Dolly Kravitz. It was released in 1974 and it stars Richard Dreyfuss and even though I'd never heard of this story before and I didn't know what to expect, I'd seen Dreyfuss in other stuff and I like him as an actor but boy was I in for a ride. I'm gonna review Dolly Kravitz, the book and the movie later on but yes I don't know why but this storyline fascinated me. It's based on a novel by the same name written by Mordecai Rickler. He wrote the screenplay as well. It's a very faithful adaptation. Couldn't get the story of Dolly Kravitz out of my head, so I bought the book, I read it, I loved it. I remembered how our teacher from How to Start Writing Your Novel had talked about Mordecai Rickler and about Barney's version and his writing style there. So I bought Dolly Kravitz while I was visiting Montreal 
and the story takes place there so that was kind of cool I was eating at some points the stuff that the characters were eating pretzels and smoked meat sandwiches and it gave me this unique appreciation of the city because I was actually focusing on the Jewish community and the history of them moving to Montreal but yes I was quite obsessed with Dolly Kravitz for a while and when I learned that Riddler had written him briefly into other of his works St. Irving's Horseman and Barney's version I went hunting for those books I skimmed through all of their pages until I found the bits where Dolly appeared and it was quite a um, nice experience Some of you may know Netflix has a special selection which varies depending which country you find yourself in. And when I arrived in Canada I was over the moon because they had so much material that isn't in the one in Mexico and a lot of it was material that I prefer to the ones that we see in Mexico. So I watched as soon as I arrived Mr. Holmes. Dickensian, Jamaica Inn, Suffragette, Denial, Papa Hemingway in Cuba, Churchill, The Roosevelt's An Intimate History, Turn Washington Spies, Rules Don't Apply, Breathe, Saint and Strangers, For Keeps, Legal Eagles, Risen, Our World War, AD Kingdom and Empire, Cavalry, Woman at War 1914 to 1918, Woman at War 1939 to 1945, Spy Game, The Ten Commandments, and well, many, many more. Apart from the friends that I made in my classes who introduced me to other writers and aspiring writers and editors and agents, I got to hang out with some very special people that are big book lovers. One of them is my best friend from childhood, Hannah, who's known as Read by Midnight. She lives in Canada, so we've been friends 16 years, but we've lived in different countries for a long time, so it was pretty cool to once again live nearby. We talked about writing and books, and movies and shows we liked, we went to different libraries, bookstores, and we even made a video that you can see the link to it in the description box below where we talked about our friendship or about our love of books and movies about how Hannah is an aspiring booktuber and also um, since 2011 I've been a big fan of that Song of Ice and Fire slash Game of Thrones series I've been very active on the online community of the Sansa and fandom which means that I ship Sansa Stark and Sander Clegane together romantically I've made some pretty amazing online friends over the years there and I finally got to meet some of them we went to Montreal and we went Went to dinner and we cosplayed the characters we went through this tour of the city visited a museum and it was so cool to meet lovely ladies who I respect because they are amazing fan fiction writers and who share a lot of memories with me because of all the things we've lived through in the fandom and who have the sort of same mindset for example we don't like the show but we love the books we made references about Sansa and casually walking by the street and they got it we also have a lot of literary tastes that are the same in other words that are not only A Song of Ice and Fire and finally I'm also a big Star Wars fan and in that fandom I have one friend that's been an amazing amazing creation in my life she has the most amazing beautiful meetup of Star Wars ever we like the same things there we hate the same things there she's called the far right center she lives in England so I've never met her but she was so nice that she sent me to Canada all of these beautiful Star Wars related gifts and even a Sans and poster because she's also in the Sans and fandom that's where we actually met. So yes, that was a lovely moment that took place while I was in Canada. And last but not least, I want to talk about the public libraries and the bookstores in Canada. And well, before moving to that country, here in Mexico, I don't really like to read books in Spanish. And if you go to a public library, you're not going to get that many books written in English. The English selection at bookstores is not that big. So I did a lot of things in Canada that I don't get to experience here in Mexico. For example, even the simple fact that I walked into a library and they had the physical copies of books that I love and treasure. So yeah, it was really gratifying to live in a country where I could find all the fiction fantasy classics sci-fi material that I like in physical copies it was so beautiful to discover all of these amazing secondhand bookshops or to go to indigo chapters and find these really lovely books with amazing leads and I read and bought a lot of books while I was there for example Father and Daughter, The Life of Margaret Mitchell and The Making of Gone with the Wind, Jamaica Inn, Frenchman's Creek, The Volcano Lover, Daughter of Australia, The Neverending Story, The Night of the Seven Kingdoms, Margaret Mitchell of Atlanta, the author of Gone with the Wind, Margaret Mitchell and John Marsh, the love story behind Gone with the Wind, and Frank a Diary of a Young Girl, Rob Roy, among others. And where did I read all of these books, you may be wondering? Well, I read them everywhere. It was pretty cool to explore a new city with a book in my backpack because whenever I found a nice place to relax, I would just go in there and start reading, whether it was a park or a mall or a restaurant. 
in the street carts, even in the train, on Niagara Falls, coffee shops, you get the idea. And the last thing I want to mention in this video are the public libraries I went to. I visited as many as I could in Toronto, Montreal, Quebec and Hamilton. In Montreal I went to Westmount, Plateau, Mont Royal. In Quebec City I was fascinated by the way old churches were transformed into public libraries. I visited the Maison de la Literature, Claire Martin and Gabriel Roy. In Hamilton, Ontario I went to a concession branch, to the Central Library and to the Terryberry branch. As to Toronto, the city where I was actually living and not just visiting for some days. Well, Toronto has a lot of public libraries and I visited as many as I could. Some were bigger than others, some had better installations than others, some had a better selection than others. But what I loved is that they were everywhere. At least in my hometown, it hasn't been my experience that people care so much about fomenting reading. For example, I did during college a thesis sort of related to this and the truth is that Mexicans don't really read as much as in other countries but among public libraries I went to there was this one that I just loved it was the biggest one I went to in that city it's called the reference library that's where I went to my first books sales ever still my favorite library in Canada is one that I haven't mentioned yet and that's the one at this Christian college called Redeemer why did I like it so much even though it wasn't as pretty as others well it just happens to have the most amazing enormous perfect selections of books that I like it was so well suited for me there were three big aisles of fiction books and classics and biographies that I would love to read and have read but yes for the moment I believe that this is all I have to say about this special video for the mental traveler I hope you enjoyed learning my experiences as a Mexican booktuber in Canada thank you so much for watching it please let me know what you thought of it if you liked it or not in the description box below you can find a link to the mental traveler's Instagram account because I am quite active there check it out and please follow and well I I'm Carrera, the mental traveler, and I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. I'll be seeing you soon. Goodbye.